Hello and welcome to part uh, 8 I think as far as I actually got this far and uh, we're, today we're going to take a look at uh, game number 74 which is Scoon or Scoon or however you pronounce it No one's Scoon you play yet another mediocre shooter I haven't seen one of these in a while in this game your job is to go around shooting sea life because you're a man well no you're, you're a pink submarine and pink submarines are evil, as opposed to the yellow ones. Which are the beetles. And, uh, yes. Eat this, Al Gore! With your stupid... With your stupid... World preservation! Nah, I'm kidding, I... <laughs> I am against all this myself. It's like that game, uh, Hong Kong 7, where you have to kill Chinese people. And I died. So, uh, next game... What time is it now? Oh, that's about quarter past ten. So, uh, game number 75 is Star Luster. With a random sound effect at the start. Now, in Star Luster, uh, what you have to do is destroy all the enemies and defend the universe. Yeah. That's uh, what the mission tells us. Let's fly over to, let's fly over to the E. And yes, this game is basically one of those uh, space simulator things that you can get on the Atari. It's alright though, um, you can go around, you can shoot enemies, you can defend uh, bases and such, which is always nice. And uh, Okay, there doesn't appear to be any enemies over here, I don't think, but I might be wrong. There's a few dots around, so who knows. Oh, they're here. Shh, let's fight them because they're enemies and need to be fought. See, they shoot at you! Well, this is the training mode, so I don't think you can actually die here. So yes, you go up to the E, and you have to fight enemies, because they are trying to be evil. And I'm missing. This is not going well. Um, it doesn't matter, because my shield is full. So screw you, blue thingy. Yeah, I don't much more to say about that one other than well, it's a flight simulator. Graphics are pretty good on that one actually, but um, on to tag team or uh, tag team pro wrestling, which is a wrestling game, as you can probably guess from the title. Because after all, if it wasn't a wrestling game, what else would it be? And to me. Call me crazy, but the music vehicle reminds me of a reuse theme from uh, Street Fighter. And yes, I'm not doing very well. Mainly because the opponent keeps going. Arr! Where's that me? I can't really tell. And yeah, there's not much we can say about that game other than the opponent is called Strong Bats. I'm not kidding. Next up is Tank. And tank is Tank A1990, which is a, which as you can probably tell from the title screen, is a hack of Battle City. And this is a pretty awesome game actually. It's um, basically it's essentially Battle City with uh, a lot more stuff, uh, weapon upgrades, the one from Battle City. There are a lot more items, from what I recall, which is good. More items means more fun, I guess. But it keeps coming up with a star power up, which I do want. And I got blown up by that douche. Let's uh, go on to the next game. I can't just show you the other power because I haven't got time. And uh, Twin B, I'm sure you can guess what this is. This is, of course, the classic shooter by Konami. Today's score! I don't know what today's score is going to be because I'm not going to play this so much. Like I said, I don't have the time. Um, and yes. Seriously, why is it with most. Why is it with early games when ripping off the Star Wars theme? And why is it with me dying on a constant basis? Um, game number 79 is Wrestling, which, as you will find, is actually um, Kinnikuman Muscle Tag Match with a different title screen. 
players. Plays this guy because he has all she has horns and therefore he's awesome. Oh wait, maybe he doesn't. The art was misleading. And I'm getting completely owned because I suck at this game. Just like the uh, other one. Except at least that one, I can at least win the first match. Just not on this multi car though, <laughs> apparently. And they swap out the character because they're a cheap bastard. You can do it as well, but I forget how. Uh, you can actually swap out your character yourself. Um, but like I said, I can't remember how you're supposed to do it. It just seems to be completely random. I know I should collect the pill up so I can completely pwn you. Oh, I'm collecting that as well, so you can't get one. Down the pill hogging beat hard. <laughs> See, I could just, I could just jump into you the whole time, and you just stand there while you degrade back into your normal form, which is disappointing. And uh, yeah, it's a wrestling game. There's not much more you can say about it, really. See, I'm just constantly suplexing the guy and just winning. See, I won. How much more you can say about that game other than we're going on to the last one on this page, which is the Goonies, which is a very good game actually. But as you will see soon enough, uh, yes, the Goonies, the classic that is, the Goonies won, as the top screen calls it. And uh, yes, we press start. Then one, there are two things that you'll notice. The first thing you'll notice is that on the top right it says we have no lives. It's not good because uh, in the original game you got three lives, and this one gives you none. Second thing you'll notice is that the hood is completely messed up. And it's not just here either, like, it's, it actually gets worse throughout the game. Like I actually tried playing through this and um, not realising that you only get one life in this version. And I uh, got to rate level 4 before I eventually got killed. And uh, yeah. But yeah, the, other than that it is the Goonies. So, sadly this version is completely messed up, thanks to glitches. Moving on to the next game, we can finally move on to the last page of this, which only has four games. Wisdom, Warpman, Xevious and Zippy Race. Let's go for Wisdom, which is actually Wisdom Boy, some uh, unlicensed game by Gantech. I press start this stupid game. But yes, time, let's go for time on, easy, because I'm, because I'm awful at this. And this game is basically a puzzle game, as you can clearly see, with uh, some rather annoying music. What you have to oh, whoops! I did not intend to do that. I forgot the B button was the one that placed the blocks down. And which one? Uh, I'm trying to think which one like swaps the around. Oh, apparently it's just the A button that does everything. But yeah, this is a puzzle game, as you can clearly see. And you have this phallic symbol or something. But I can't be bothered to solve this, so uh, screw it. Let's go on to uh, the next game, which is Warp Man, which is uh, some game by Nemco. And a game that appears very often on Multicarts. What you have to do in it is you have to go around and shoot things and not get killed. That does tend to help. Oh, yes, and you can shoot these things with bonus points. Because bonus points are awesome. Yeah, there's not much more you can say with the gameplay of this one. It's alright, but uh, something special really. But yeah, let's uh, move on to game number 83. We have the time. Just Xevious. A certified Namco classic, if you ask me. And yes, as you can see, this game is, well, serious. Annoying music and everything. Well, it's not that annoying to me, but uh, I'm sure some people find it more annoying than myself. And uh, yes, it is the classic shooter, as you can see. Not what to say here, other than I blew them up. So it's a uh, Let's go for a somewhat fitting ending to this multi cart, this Zippy Race. A very mediocre racing game. Of course, it uh, 
be even more fitting if, if it was a shooter, but uh, it is not. You know, this game is kind of like Road Fighter, except it's nowhere near as good as you can see, because the game is a lot more slow paced, and overtaking the opponents is a complete pain in the arse, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, here's a prime example of that. Like, hit later with two cars here, which is completely stupid. Um, but yeah, not what we can say about this game other than it is a mediocre racing game. And this is the end of the 84 in one review. Um, what can I say? There are plenty of good games, uh, there are plenty of mediocre games, and there are plenty of awful games on here. So if you like any of those three, you might get a kick out of this. Right now, some of the most cards I've looked at in the past were uh, considerably better than this. That is on my other channel. The, the ones I've covered on my uh, on this channel, they are uh, pretty awful. But um, they're worse than this, definitely. And yeah, um, not much more to say other than I'll see you later when I might review another multi-cart or something. Hopefully I can get a Dazzle one day, so um, I don't have to worry about all this video quality stuff. But yeah, this is uh, Pro Gaming Heavy and I'll see you later.